So what I'm trying to do here is I want to make sure that we see the different characteristics of the adhesives, how we prep, what it's going to end up doing, so that the guys here can understand that there is a systematic formula to getting to the result much faster. Uh, once you just simply understand either A, the adhesives and the tools that you're using, and B, the pulling system also. So, crank it up. What temperature are you going to that? Hot. Uh, All the way? 220? Yeah, we're going to get another 150 degrees by that. Well, I mean, I'll go to 220. Crank it up. Let's do what the gun says. Well, that gun right there will be more than that, by the way. Uh, I promise you. I'm going to torch this tab real quick. Can you get that excess off of there? Uh, you got just a little bit of sheen left on it. So a little bit left, the extra adhesive left on it, just being a pain in the butt. Okay, sometimes there are a little force and you get down there. Just put a torch on it real quick. Get, get that temperature up. Okay. Put the releasing edge on it. Come out. Okay. Get a perfectly clean tab. Really good. You have the ability now to throw weight on it and really get that joke moving. Okay, so we were delicate earlier. So you want a big slide? I will. Yeah, we. Right, okay. ah. All right. Oh crap. Yeah, that's perfect. Really sure. Yeah, there you go. Where do you want well, to you're the one pulling it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be a good time. I'm gonna prep it. Okay. okay. And then I want you guys to pull. It. Okay. Pull. Now what I'm looking for. Yeah. <laughs> What's this one here? Yeah. Take a look here. So what I do is I put both these guys up. So I'd rather dry fit first, especially on something like this. The problem is the pit in this one. Uh -huh. This seems this is my surface energy, right? If I need contact, yeah. I'm gonna have too much of a bubble at the end because this is too far around the pit to the impact point. Okay, okay. I want as much as I can get, so I'm not gonna choose a lesser tab okay. in order to get as much surface and contact points. Okay, because I believe that I will get more surface energy with this one than this one because of contact. Okay, because of how deep you're saying? Yep, correct. Okay. And this is a larger tab, so it sits higher, higher up on up, the ridge. Yeah. Okay, whereas this one wanna go lower down the side of the ridge. So if you were like millimeter by millimeter, I truly believe that by just dry testing, I will have more contact points on this one. So, well, we don't have it much so who, uh, who, knows, who knows how to prep uh, collision tabs? So Cam says that there's six, uh, four factors. Kiko says there's six. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna lay them out for you, okay? So bottom line is imperative. Okay, set, okay, all that. So we are gonna switch over to our solar. Wipe it down. I do like to wipe like a painter. Okay. So that brand new three-inch uh, compound foam pad right there. Yeah. Can I put that on drill and bring that to me real quick? Yeah. I'll hold that. Yeah. This is exactly this perfect. Yeah, man. I now we're talking. This is money, right? Hey. No. Thanks. All right. Here's how I prep. It's a little bit softer than the ones I use. The larger the pores on the pad, the hotter it'll get. But the good thing about the foam versus the wool, what it'll do is paint has micro pores to it. Okay, it, it breathes just like anything else does. Okay, we want to grab everything out of that that we can. You've heard clay bar, the reason is they want to pick up everything yeah. that's micro pores. This does an even better job. So watch this. So here's what I do. This is how I like to prep. So oh. Yep. Huh. Um, number. Huh. Is now I'm going to directionally wipe it just like a painter. Okay, I'm going to find my, my good spot. Done. So now it comes down to temperatures. Okay, I'm getting ready to hit tabs. Okay, so I want to clean that tab, make sure that the, 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 substrate, the panel substrate's good. Okay, now I want to make sure that the tab substrate's good. And so. And once I do this, I, I will not test that again. I really shouldn't. But what I'll do right there is I will flash that tab real quick just to make sure she's good. There is nothing on there now. Okay. Make sure you dry all the alcohol off too before you put the torch on. Uh, that's uh, yeah, that mistake's been made a couple times. It's, it gets interesting. What temperature do you guys get your panels up to before you put your stuff on? When it comes to glue, I've never heated it up. Unless what, it's, have, what have you heard? I I've taken my heat gun and got the humidity out of it. Right. But yeah. I just I did it by touch. I don't really go by it. But then once it cooled oh, yeah. off, I would. Uh, we're going to crank it up. Yeah. This one has a longer set time, a longer open time. Again, open time is when I, as soon as I squirt out of there, it gets on a tab or a panel or whatever. 
So that's when the clock ticks. You start getting that back to a solid. So okay. that's that's that time frame to work. You have working time is what really open time is. Okay? okay. So if it starts to change back to its original properties, you lose the ability of what it's engineered to do. And it's not going to bond. It's not going to stick. You can honestly tell there's a big difference between the two as far as how fast they work. This is a medium to a long set time, 30 plus seconds. So now, cure time's different. Pull time's a whole different ballgame. Now I'm going to show you how to take data points on a tap to get a big pull. So I'm going to flash this. Sorry, pound temperature we start out with is 78 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, now, because I got rubber and everything, I'm going to do big long swipes. I'm looking for a magic number here. And it's higher than that, just so you know. So the reason why I'm looking for this number is, again, like I was telling you, You've got products inside of these hot milk adhesives, and they are all different. It should be. Ooh, we're close. And what that does is there's a certain temperature on the gun and inside of the panel that makes magic happen at a certain degree. Oh, oh. It's not burning the paint, by the way. Paint is cooked off in the factory at 350 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So. Now, I'm pushing that in there to get that stem because where's the pull power? It's in the stem. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. All right, so now I've got great bond line around it, but I don't, because it is a longer set time, I, if I let up, I don't want to have a vacuum in that pit. So yeah. I'm keeping pressure on it, okay, until I get the cure. Yeah. All okay. right? Now. Yeah. All right, so now I do north, south, east, west, okay? Bond line. On the tab face versus where the bond line's at. The north side, okay? I'm at 131 degrees. If I go over to the east side, I'm at 128 degrees. The south side, 124 degrees. The west side, I'm at 124 degrees. Now the stem versus the tab face, which is right here, mm -hmm. okay? The stem and tab and face meet. I'm going to take that temperature right there. I'm at 121. Okay, but now because heat rises, I want to take a check the tip. I'm at 121. So actually, what we have. So now on the south side, I'm at 113, east side, 114, north side, 119, west side, 116, 115, and 114 on the tab, the stem, 115 on the tip. Here's why I'm doing this. So a lot of times you hear, get it down to 80 degrees, eh, ish. So the cure rate needs to be all the same, because a lot of times we'll have molten where you can't see it, right? which is why I check that face, I check the face and the stem. Okay, and on bigger tabs, not smaller, smaller tabs you need to be with a half a degree to a degree. Okay, because that way you're making sure in all those data points, you now know that you have a, a consistent cure rate. Okay, right. if you have a bigger tab, if you're not within two to three degrees in every data point, don't pull. Within this, smaller tabs, because you have such a small radius happening, you got to be within a half, half a degree to a degree. Okay. okay, and or somewhere around 60 to 90. Okay. So, but you want a unified temperature. That's the biggest thing because the cure rate means it's the same. So I don't want you to grip and rip, I want you to work it. Okay. You got a flexible adhesive and a flexible tab. This is meant to work, not just pow. Okay. okay, so you have the ability to start drawing that thing up. Be mindful though of energy and volume, okay? You don't want to, you obviously don't want to collapse on itself, stretch and things like that. So again, you're the, you're the technician that's controlling the tool. Okay. South side, 95, east side. 95, north side, 96, uh-oh, west side, 93, nope, stem, tab, face, 94.2, tip, 94. Mm. So now if you feel this, it feels good. Now here's the other thing I'm going to go for with, with solar. You'll have this, that, that, that little tackiness, you know, and I got just a little bit on the north side. As soon as that leaves, is, is, a, is a good indication that you're starting to solidify. 
and it could be a multitude of different temperatures, okay? So as that tacky starts to come out, it's starting to solidify then. What you need to go for there is the look of it. it it's perfectly clear when it's coming out. Look, look how thin this is. We'll just put it on this one, right? It's clear, right? Yep. Is that clear? Yep. No. What, uh, what color is it going to turn into? It's more of a white, uh, right. cloudy mist. Okay. That's almost like it's indicator, almost like a you know a color temperature change, if you will. Okay. So as it starts to turn that milky again, you know you're getting that. Okay, that's if you're trying to do something like that. I really want you, I hope you don't just ah, and rip that no, thing no, off. No, no, you're no. stronger than any of this has tensile strength to it. So you have to be within the range of working it. Okay, so if you just want to ah, I ripped it off, and Jeremy said it wouldn't come off. But, I mean, I can make it do that. I'll get a bigger time and some better aluminum. I'm going to drag your car across the parking lot. <laughs> so that's all I want to prep it. But the tab has to change this thing. The paint has to, the glue. I mean, all that working together. But again, all of our glues are less than the factory temperature. So if you're just <clears throat> wow, gripping and ripping, it's going to pop off no matter what you do. Yeah. So, but if you work it. Work it. That's the thing. 87. 87. 87. 87. 87. Okay. All right, we'll start. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> All right, see ya. That sucker reversed out. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Let's see what you got. Good. This yes. completely <laughs> reversed. It smokes, man. Yeah. And that was the deepest part of it. Wow. There, that's that's awesome. <laughs> okay, that's that's that is crazy, right there. Nope, that science and that's technology, boys. That would have saved me. Yeah, yeah, I got good <laughs> Half a day. That is, that's gonna make some very quick work. Well, this crap in here. Stuff. Look at that. That's all. It's just a little group, boys. That is crazy, man. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Look at that. Wow, this is a lot of this stuff. Please. This. Man, you gotta get a better look at that. I saw it, yeah. That's awesome. Now I'm ready to get that back one out. Yeah, let's, uh, <laughs> let's keep going. Now don't be touching it. He's already got it prepped. We gotta re-prep it. Be quiet. <laughs> I'm ready to put the back one. Come on. <laughs> you just saw it. <laughs> so the only thing about the back one, I would I would say that ridge around it, that yeah. circumference, that's dangerous. Yeah, yeah. Full paint. Honestly, that's a slow control pull at that time. Yeah. You're beating around the edges and working. You're, you're just volume displacement as it's coming out and you're pushing in. That 200 degree point that I just taught you is the safety point. Here's what you don't want to do. I've got in excess of 286 degrees Fahrenheit and not burnt paint. Okay. So, but as if it's a tri-stage pearl, don't even get near 250. Okay. <laughs> Because you will you will golden a white car, right? Yeah. So it's that pearl coat because the binding of it, the, the binder, or the clear base coat with the, the translucent pearl, that has has a different temperature going on too because you don't have the metallics and the mica cuts and all that stuff. So if it's a three stage, two hundred and less, less, no exceptions. All right now, if it's a two stage, you don't have that problem. You don't want to be directional. You want to just let it let it come up, right. big long swaths, okay? By the way, that plastic and that metal right there on that on that bedside, always stay away from the plastic with the torch. Because you will fry that joker in a heartbeat. And it, it, it gets on that lip and it'll feel the paint in a heartbeat. Always, if you're in that area, you just heat gun. Okay? And, and where metal and paint, metal and plastic meet, heat gun. Alright? Well, what's gonna be the best way to flash this one because you have Are you okay? So I mean it's around the corner. So you I'm just literally flip back and forth. Gotcha. Alright. So I would go through clean answer if you got it. So these big, long, strong, hard pulls, mm -hmm. whether it's bare metal mm -hmm. or painted metal, it doesn't matter, or painted substrate, it's irrelevant. If you're looking for something that's going to be real, okay, you want to flash the 200, do, do this process that I just taught you, get your panel temperature up to 200, apply, and then start, start checking your data. When it sets down and cures correctly and at the same rate, 
you're going to get pulls like that 100% of the time. Like 100%. Not a, man, I thought it would have, eh, no, 100% of the time you're going to get. Um, so they just won't flash this. Yeah, just to yeah, just hit it real quick. Good. Just set that on up there. Especially on a dip like that. Right? If you let go, you're going to create that open air cavity in there. You want the bond. Just keep it there for probably about 45 seconds. So you want so solar does not hook up like Sagan. Sagan is like nah. Right, I'm hoping I got it dead center because it may have it it may have slipped what? away. What did you say? <coughs> <laughs> well, good news. We're working metal right now. We're not. We're technically. I don't consider this pulling dense. I consider this a stage. This is a step to get to the means to an end. Um, now, as we go to finishing this, we'll switch to a heart attack because we want to get more specific. And we want to relieve this pressure, get that mass up as quickly as possible. That's the stuff that's killing our, like, as far as the job goes. We're stuck on one one dent for how long? You know, and, yeah. right, exactly. Now, with the other hand, touch the, uh, the, the we're getting there. If you met there. Woo! Had a flashback. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey. You see, it's hard to get a little milky. Like it sounds like with that day. Yeah. What's your temperature? Top of 104, 99, 99, 100. Stem we're at 98, and the top at 106. Yeah. Heat's rising. Yeah. That's pretty neat. That's pretty new how it's transferred. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh -uh. So we're way too far off right now. The one that just told me is it's molten on the inside of that. If you were to pull that right now, you'd have a good bond line, and that's somewhat that's setting, so but it's still more, it's still soft on the inside. Yeah. So absolutely. So we're at 86 everywhere in the stem, but we were at 87 on the. <coughs> 84, 84, 85 is still within a half. 85. Stem, 85 in the top, 84.8. Right so all you're going to do is start giving it some pops. Okay, and watch, 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 for the, yep. watch for it starting to come up. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Now, so as you brought it up, what you want to do now is you want to work that crown. So relieve that pressure that just tightened up, and then you're going to end up going back to it.
to a point where it cools down enough where it'll pop off a little bit here. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We're not there yet. Not yet. No. So, believe it or not, these hot rolls adhesive will not actually cure for 24 hours. Like, fully cure. Really? Yeah. So, you've got a window that everything operates with. And again, we're, we're creating a box The tools yeah. can be used for. Yeah. yeah, slowly. It's hard to get to that top crown. Yeah. Fully. I didn't have it dead center. It's okay. Yeah, so. It's okay. I mean, it, it was getting close. You had to think about this logically for a second. So go ahead and take that off. Right? And I'll tell you exactly what's, you're going to have a pretty good, pretty good crown around it. And it's going to be pushing back into it, so. Yeah, see, I was, yeah. I was off more towards the top. That's okay. It's looking good. All right. Now, let me see that. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So, so, I relieve that pressure of that crown. I, I bring that out. Because right now what you're doing is, if you don't, you're going to start bringing it in on itself. Sure. Yeah. You're going to make it deeper than as wide and you're going to pull it. I'm anxious to, to get on the rest of these with that glue and just cut our time in half. <laughs> you know, to know the right steps, the right way to do it now. The right we didn't have process before. We, just kind of we didn't, we didn't have through. any process with, with any glue we've ever no. used. How many weeks have you used the same uh, towel? Yeah. With the greasy hand. With the greasy hand. That's actually one of the big ones. That's the yeah. One. Playing the tabs with the sticks. Cleaning them off. Yeah. I mean, it's just it's so much about it that you know having to explain to you the right way, the right way to do it, and then the way that glue pulls. <laughs> <you know? laughs> I've never used glue the right way. Then. You know, because it's a little bitty dent, I put a little bit of glue and try to hit the middle. And I've been it. using it way the wrong way. So how are you gonna do it now? I'm gonna have a bond seal all the way around that. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Inside day. out, one shot. Yeah, man, yeah. I tell you what, that's probably gonna help every one of us. Yeah. I mean, everything that you've taught us today will move us all forward. Yeah, that, that blesses me, because we put a lot of sacrifice in like that. That blesses me, it makes it worth it. You know, when we hear things like that, we see things, and we see the progress of the technicians, that makes it all worth it. But lucky man, you haven't gotten to do nothing like we have here. Like you get all the benefits of all this stuff. Man. Twenty-six years you're going through this, yeah. Man, you know, we appreciate you. Yeah, we appreciate you. I appreciate you coming here and and, and showing all of us, man. If you guys wouldn't mind, I'm keeping you up to date. And again, so the way I got my work chart set up is that any information that comes into the business goes to R and D first because we want solutions. That's that's the whole name of the game. This isn't about. It's about a facade, this isn't about fluff. I mean, this is about, this is about to make, make a problem not existing again. So if there's an issue, if you're running to a time attempt or something like that, I want to know, because I'll throw it straight to R&B, and we'll start working like a new So yeah, we will find answers, I promise you that. We'll be good to go. Yeah, thank you. 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 Thank you.